Rosal, yo me llamo Carlos Camines Rosa, y I'm here today to talk about relationships. See, to my mother, to un hijo. To my sister, I'm a brother, a little spoiled brat. To some of you, I'm your friend, someone who you've gotten a little pedo with, someone who you've seen, maybe not at my best. And to some of you, I'm just a politician. One of the words that was up there today was Concejal, which in Chicago means all means a city council. I'm here today because I have a vision for my people. A vision where we, as Latinx people, hold political power. Where we, as Latinx people, are able to go and make demands and know that our elected officials will listen. See, rich people, powerful people, the colonialists, They've been building relationships for a really long time. How many of you have ever had a corporate Hispanic invite you to a networking event? Raise your hand. See, those aren't real relationships. Those are relationships built on greed. Those are relationships built on a false premise that if you just work hard enough, somehow you can make your way up. I'm not here to study that. What I'm here to tell you is that if we build relationships with people, if we organize, If we enter the electoral arena, then we can elect our friends. And then we can have the relationships to hold them accountable to ensure that they continue being our friends. See, before I became an alderman, I was an organizer. I was an activist. I was a son of Chicago. I was someone who's tired of seeing 10,000 Latino families pushed out of the northwest side of Chicago, the place that I call home. I was an activist that was tired of seeing people not able to pay the rent. People coming with tears in their eyes and saying, I cannot afford to pay my rent because my landlord just bought the building and is now charging $1,300 for a studio. I felt powerless. I knew that my elected official, the individual that was making those decisions, was bought and sold by corporate money. And so I started talking to people and I said, well, what can we do? And so people in my community said, well, maybe you should run for office. And so I went to my mom and I said, mom, Some people in my community said I should run for office. She said, oh, mijo. She said, you're 25 years old. You're gay. You don't know 10 people that can give you $10,000. And you're running against a democratic machine that has a lot of power. And so I disempowered myself. I said, she's absolutely right. There's no way that I can be an elected official. There's no way that I can hold political power in the city of Chicago. But then I met some other people, organizers, who said, We're building a political movement. And you're the type of person with the exact type of history that we think should be in office. And so some people here knocked doors, donated money, and we built a grassroots movement that won with 67% of the vote on election day. And so now what are we doing? In my community, on the north side of Roman Square, we're building people power. Because on election day, we didn't just close up shop and say, okay, Carlos, good luck. They build power on the ground. They're building an organization, an organization to hold me accountable, to ensure that the promises upon which I was elected is exactly what I do once I'm in office. So there are people in this room who could do just that, who could pick up the phone and tell me, God, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> They could tell me, this is what we need you to do if you're actually going to live up to the promises that you made when you were elected. So rich people are making relationships all the time. They're using their pockets that are very deep to buy and sell politicians. But we have something that's much more powerful, right? We have the power of the people. And if we organize, if we build those relationships, I think we can hold that people that their officials are common. So there are people here today that should run for office. There are people here today that should go back to their community and go to their friend and say, you should run for office. It doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't matter uh, if you're trans, it doesn't matter where you come from. You can hold political power, or we're going to be standing there right next to you, holding your hand and making sure that you're on the side. Thank you.